Today, I try a new disposable camera and new film company based in New York. If you're interested in film photography, stay tuned. As previously mentioned, during my research of looking up black owned film businesses, I found this company called Manual Camera. And much like Brick of Dope, their marketing and branding is on point, man. It is tip top. It came in a really cool package. They have some really interesting, like really cool looking clothes that I routinely check their website to see if they're ever gonna be available. They're sold out of a lot of them. It seems like they, they got it down. And they also do film develop and scanning. I haven't tried them yet for that, but I probably will in the future. Their prices are pretty reasonable. Uh, it turned out the day I got this camera, I hear something out my window and there's a protest going on for Juneteenth and obviously it was a Black Lives Matter protest. So I literally just walked out my front door and I joined the protest and, and got some shots of that. I wanted to be mindful so I didn't like go too crazy trying to get the perfect shot. When I get disposable cameras, I really just want to give like a POV of my life. So I try not to always aim to get the most amazing shot ever and all that. And, and also I kind of hate seeing that sometimes. Like obviously there's people that need to document these things and I'm not opposed to that. It's just like some corny looking white dude jumping in the middle of protest with a disposable camera, like trying to get his perfect angle, just seemed insensitive to me. So I, I just kind of snapped some shots here and there of it. It was a very peaceful protest. It was actually, it was, it was just a really good experience. I'm glad I, I, I joined in. And then the following weekend, we went to a hiking trail called the Devil's Punch Bowl. It's outside of LA and got some shots there. They look great, you know, it's disposable camera. So again, I'm trying to just kind of capture real life, but I think I got some pretty fun shots in there as well. I had one more shot left before it was out. So during my, one of my evening runs, I took a shot of just a building here in Pasadena. I, I kind of liked the way the lighting looked on it. So I just snapped that shot real quick. And so then it was time to send it off to get developed. And I have to say very quick, I think, I, I think it was within the week I shipped it and I already had it in my inbox. Uh, the scans are pretty good, not quite as good as Brick of Dope, but very good. I had a decent amount of latitude to work with when I was editing the picture, so they didn't like make them real crappy JPEGs or anything like that. I think they are JPEGs, but there were some pr pretty good range on them. I, I'm, I wouldn't complain about that at all. Overall, I would absolutely use this product again. I, I'm pretty sure, actually I'm almost 100% sure it's the, it's the Fujifilm disposable camera and they put a really cool label on it. It's a great product, seems like a great company. They seem like they're gonna be getting pretty famous here soon. I, I, it looks like they already pretty much have a, a big following there in New York. So I would definitely stay tuned. Their clothing is awesome. I really can't wait to buy a shirt. Like it's cool because there's not a ton for like photographers, like cool photography brands. And I think that's a really interesting niche that, that they're pulling with that. I would rate it four decently lit buildings out of five. It's a great product. I'd recommend it. The cool thing about this is it's 400 ASA film. So if you like the little bit more of natural ambient light over like a little bit of harsher of a lower ISO film, this would be the disposable camera to get, which I like because it, it gives me options. So if, I, if I'm going out and I know I'm going to be outside a lot or I know I, I'm going to have a ton of light to, to work with, I can get the brick of dope. If it's going to be a little bit more in and outside or on a trip or something, I can get the manual. Either of these cameras would work great. It's just kind of what you like. No, nothing much to really say about it other than that. Great quality product, cool branding. I, I would definitely say check them out. And also some cool clothes. So when those get available. If you guys have worked with manual in the past or have, have used their product, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, thanks, bye.